Sutra, Disciples of the Buddha. What is the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's patience in perceiving all as the void? Disciples of the Buddha. This Bodhisattva Mahasattva understands that all Dharma realms resemble the void in that they have no attributes. All worlds resemble the void in that they do not arise. All Dhammas resemble the void in that they are non dual. All sentient beings' deeds resemble the world in that there is nothing done. All Buddhas resemble the world in that they do not make distinctions. All Buddhas' powers resemble the world in that they are undifferentiated. All Dhyana Samadhis resemble the world in that the three birds of time become equal. All Dhammas that are spoken resemble the world in that they cannot be verbalized and all Buddha's bodies resemble the world in that they are free from attachment and impediment. The Bodhisattva thus uses that the expedient of perceiving all as the world to fathom that all dharmas do not exist. Commentary Universal Worthy Bodhisattva continues. All of you disciples of the Buddha, what is the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's patience in perceiving all as the world? What is the great Bodhisattva's patience of regarding everything as being empty like the void? What is his state of being like? Universal worthy Bodhisattva addresses all of you again. Disciples of the Buddha, since you don't know, I'll explain it to you. This Bodhisattva Mahasattva understands that all Dharma realms resemble the void. He understands that all Dharma realms are identical to the world in that they have no attributes. Lacking attributes, Dharma realms are like empty space. He also knows all worlds resemble the world. All worlds go through the stages of formation, stasis, decline, and emptiness, so they all end up empty. They are like the world in that they do not arise and also do not perish. He understands that all dramas resemble the world in their lack of substance and in that they are non-dual, i.e. dramas are neither singular nor dual. He knows that all sentient beings' deeds resemble the world in that there is nothing done. They act without acting. Their actions are basically empty. He understands that all Buddhas resemble the world in that they make no distinctions. When the mind makes no distinctions among the Buddhas, Sentient beings and dramas is in this absence of distinctions like the void. Not only are the Buddhas and their drama like the void, he knows that all Buddhas' powers, the ten powers, resemble the void in that they are undifferentiated. Being free from differentiation, how could they be other than the void? The Bodhisattva understands that all Dhyana Samadhis resemble the void in that the three builders of time become equal. One cannot be attached to the cultivation of any of the dhyanas of all samadhis. Upon entering samadhi, one no longer perceives past, present, and future. Past, present, or future, everything becomes equal and identical to the world. All dhammas that are spoken by the Buddha resemble the world in that they cannot be verbalized. The essence of the drama is ineffable. It has neither verbal expression nor mental conceptualization, and it is beyond language. And all Buddha's bodies are seen to resemble the world, thus the Bodhisattva has patience in perceiving all as the world. Originally, things are not identical to the world, but due to the Bodhisattva's practice of this patience, Distinctions no longer exist in his mind and all things become identical to the world. All Buddha's bodies are void like in that they are free from attachment and impediment. They are unattached and perfectly interfused without obstruction. If one is attached to the Buddha's bodies, then they cannot be like the world. If there is no attachment, then they are identical to the world. You should understand what it means to resemble the vote. It means that given something that is not vote-like, you conceive it as resembling the vote. Since it is not really the same as the vote, this requires patience. Patience involves recognizing this, this state of mind. The Bodhisattva thus uses the expedient of perceiving 
or as the word to fathom that all dharmas do not exist. Using the expedient means of contemplating everything as like the word. The Bodhisattva comprehends all dharmas to be originally empty and non-existent and knows not to become attached to dharmas or to self. With no attachment to dharmas or to self, how could there be anything else but the word? Sutra, Disciples of the Buddha When the Bodhisattva Mahasattva comprehends all dharmas by means of the wisdom of the patience of perceiving or as the word, he attains a body and bodily karma that resemble the word, speech and speech karma that resemble the word, and a mind and mental karma that resemble the word. Just as the word sustains all dharma so that there is neither production nor destruction, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's dharma body likewise is free from birth and death, just as the word is indestructible. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva's wisdom and powers likewise are indestructible, just as the word serves as the refuge for all in the world, yet itself is not dependent on anything. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva likewise is the refuge for all dharmas, yet all the while independent. Commentary Universal Worthy Bodhisattva calls out, Disciples of the Buddha, when the Bodhisattva Mahasattva fully comprehends all dharmas by means of the wisdom of perceiving all as the word with which he regards everything as a resembling empty space. He attains a body and bodily karma that resemble the wood. It is as if he has no body, whether he is moving or still, and since there is no concept of a body, his body creates no karma. Therefore, his bodily karma is also wood like Since the Bodhisattva is beyond speech, he attains speech and speech karma that resemble the wood. And with his mind free from attachments, the Bodhisattva has a mind and mental karma that resemble the world. Just as the world sustains its own dharma so that there is neither production nor destruction of dharmas, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's dharma body likewise is free from birth and death like the world. Just as the world is indestructible, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's wisdom and all its powers likewise are indestructible. No human being can destroy them. Just as the world serves as the refuge for all in the world, yet itself is not dependent on anything and is unattached, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva likewise is the refuge for all dharmas, yet all the while independent. Although all dharmas rely on the great Bodhisattva who is spouse on them, the Bodhisattva himself remains independent and free from attachment. Sutra Just as the world is beyond birth and death, yet accommodates all births and deaths in the world, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva likewise is without aims or achievements, yet manifests aims and achievements, leading all those in the world to cultivate purity. Just as the world lacks boundaries, yet can manifest infinitely many boundaries, the Bodhisattva likewise has no karma or retribution, yet is able to manifest all sorts of karma and retribution. Just as the world neither travels nor remains still, yet can reveal all sorts of magnificence, likewise, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva neither travels nor remains still, yet is able to discern all practices. Just as the world neither has form nor lacks form, yet can display all the various forms, Likewise, the Bodhisattva has neither worldly nor this uh, transcendental form, yet can display all forms. Commentary Just as the world is beyond birth and death, yet accommodates all births and deaths in the world, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva likewise is without aims or achievements. He has no place where he wants to go and nothing he considers as his achievement, yet he manifests aims and achievements leading all those beings in the world to cultivate the Dharma doors of purity. Just as the world lacks directions and boundaries, yet can manifest infinitely many directions and boundaries, the Bodhisattva likewise has no karma or retribution of his own, yet is able to manifest 
all sorts of karma and retribution. Just as the world neither travels nor remains still, yet can reveal all sorts of appearances of magnificence. Likewise, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva neither travels nor remains still. He neither has to move around nor dwell in a fixed place, yet is able to discern all practices of cultivation. Just as the boat neither has form nor lacks form, yet it can display all the various forms, likewise the great Bodhisattva has neither worldly nor a now transcendental form, yet it can display all forms. He can manifest all dramas of form. Sutra, just as the boat is neither distant nor close, yet lasts forever and manifests all things. Likewise, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva is neither distant nor close, yet is able to dwell forever and display all the practices of Bodhisattvas. Just as the world is neither clean nor polluted, yet not apart from cleanliness, cleanliness and pollution, likewise, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva is neither impeded nor unimpeded yet not apart from impediment and non-impediment. Just as the whole world appears before the world, yet the world does not appear before the whole world. Likewise, all dhammas appear before the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, yet he does not appear before all dhammas. Just as the world enters all and knows no bounds, likewise the Bodhisattva Mahasattva enters all dhammas and his Bodhisattva Resolve knows no bounds. Commentary just as the world is neither distant from nor close to us. You may say empty space is far, yet it is right beside us. You may say it is near, yet you can not take hold of empty space. Thus, empty space is neither far nor near, yet it lasts forever. The world is never destroyed. Why not? Because it is the world. Essentially, the world is nothingness. How can it be destroyed? We should pay attention to this. Why do we suffer from afflictions and ignorance? It's because we are not similar to the world. Our inherent nature resembles the world. True and false lie within it. Awakened to the essential nature, when one thing is understood, everything is understood. Our essential nature is like the world, and the world contains both the true and the false. When we truly understand our essential nature, this one understanding leads us to understand everything. And the indestructible food manifests all things. As for the small, it contains every mode of dust. As for the large, it contains all the mountains, rivers, the earth, houses, and buildings. Nevertheless, the food cannot be destroyed. Likewise, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva is no different from the world in that he is neither distant nor close, yet is able to dwell forever in the world and display all the practices of bodhisattvas, all the dharmas they cultivate. Just as the world is neither clean nor polluted, if you say that the world is clean, you are wrong. If you say it is filthy or untidy, it's not completely true either, because the world is just nothingness. If you say it is clean, well, there are toilets everywhere and these four toilets exist in the world. Nevertheless, they cannot pollute the world. Nowadays, we say that the air is polluted, but the world cannot be contaminated. Thus, the world is neither clean nor polluted, yet it is not apart from cleanliness cleanliness and pollution. Cleanliness and pollution are included in the world. Likewise, the great Bodhisattva Mahasattva is neither impeded nor unimpeded, yet he is not apart from impediment and non-impediment. The Bodhisattva has no impediments, yet he is not separate from impediments. It is just as the whole world appears before the world, yet the world does not appear before the whole world. Why is that? The world is nothingness. How can it appear? How can it make an appearance when it is formless? Likewise, all dharmas appear before the Bodhisattva Mahasattva. The great Bodhisattva understands all dharmas, yet he does not appear before all dharmas. Just as the world enters all and knows no bounds, 
Likewise, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva enters all dharmas, and his Bodhisattva resolve knows no bounds. The Great Bodhisattva realizes the ultimate real reality underlying all dharmas. Yet his Bodhisattva resolve is limitless. Sutra. Why is that? The reason is that what the Bodhisattva does is like the boat. That is to say, all his cultivation, all his adornment and purification, and all his accomplishments are completely impartial, being of one single substance, flavor, and capacity, and resembling the world in its purity and all pervasiveness. In this way, the Bodhisattva certifies to the knowledge of all dharmas and does not discriminate among any of them. He adorns and purifies all Buddha lands, perfects all independent bodies, and discerns all directions without confusion. He possesses all powers and cannot be vanquished. He has perfected all the boundless meritorious virtues, plumbed the depths of all profound dharmas, and mastered all paramitas. Sitting on all varasis everywhere, he universally utters sounds that accord with all kinds of beings. He turns the Dharma wheel for the sake of those in all worlds without ever missing the right opportunity. This is called patience in perceiving all as the boat, the tenth kind of patience of a Bodhisattva Mahasattva. Commentary Why is that? The reason is that what the Bodhisattva does is like the boat. That is to say, all his cultivation resembles the boat. All his adornment and purification are like the boat. And all his accomplishments resemble the world. Indeed, all the Bodhisattva's actions are like the world because they are completely impartial, being one of one single substance, the single substance of true suchness, the single flavor of liberation, and the single capacity that is exactly appropriate for the various natures of all beings, and resembling the world in its purity and all pervasiveness. In this way, the Bodhisattva certifies to the knowledge of all dharmas and does not discriminate among any of them. He understands all dharmas and does not need to discriminate among any of them. He adorns and purifies all Buddha lands, perfects all independent bodies. He does not need to rely on anything, and he discerns all directions without confusion. He does not become disoriented with regard to directions. He possesses all powers and cannot be vanquished. He is invincible because of his solid strength. He has perfected all the boundless meritorious virtues, plumbed the depths of all profound dramas. He has arrived at the local of wisdom, and he has mastered all paramitas. He has taken all the paths for crossing to the other shore. Sitting on all varasis everywhere, he universally utters sounds that are caught with all kinds of beings. He turns the great Dharma wheel for the sake of those in all worlds, without ever missing the right opportunity. He never misses the proper timing to turn the Dharma wheel. This is called the patience of perceiving all as the world, the tenth kind of practice of patience of a Bodhisattva Mahasattva.